Good afternoon, everyone. Peter from Aces Deal, Sublimation Central. I wanted to introduce you to a new product that we're going to be putting up on the website, but the group is going to be offered it first. What you're looking at here is a piece of birch wood that is 8 inches by 18 inches across, okay? And the surface is coated with a polymer surface, so you can sublimate on this. And this is about 5 eighths of an inch thick. Now, this piece of wood, when sublimated, you have the ability, and let me, I'm sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, you have the ability to hang it up horizontally, or of course, portrait or vertical. So it's, you know, cut out for you. But this is a nice, you know, heavy piece of wood that's, you know, that you sublimate. Now, once you sublimate it, and I've been told by the manufacturer, um, by the way, these are American made, made in the USA. You will sublimate them at 400 degrees for approximately 45 seconds. Once it's done, all right, <clears throat> you can then add to it this six by nine mirror that comes with it, okay? And what it does, you can position the mirror on the end, in the middle, or on the other end. So when you lay out your image, you want to figure out exactly, um, you know, where the mirror is going to sit so it doesn't cover up, let's say, the main center or the main focal point of the mirror. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, um, uh, oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. It's the end of the day. I had a lot of coffee. But we're going to give this a try and, and see how it sublimates. And we'll be back with the finished product. See you soon, guys. Okay, like I do with any other image, I borrowed this image from Google uh, for this test. And like with any other image, I always enhance the image. Right now, we're printing out on a 13 by 19. This image, which is with allowing for bleed, is 17.8 inches wide by 7.8 inches in height. Okay, and um, this is an Epson 1430 uh, using Inkx Pro inks which we represent and uh very excited about trying this out and we'll see in a few minutes after we press it okay uh this is my geo knight uh k20s 16 by 20 heat press and as with anything else you have your butcher paper or parchment paper on the bottom here is the piece of uh, birch wood with the transfer securely taped and then the parchment paper on top. And like I said, medium pressure, 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Cross your fingers, wish me luck. Okay, we have the image printed out. And what we're going to do, and let me get my hand out of the shadow, there we go. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to now put the wood on the image, tape it down, and go and press it at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Okay, boys and girls, um, it came out really, really good. All right, and like I said, whenever I uh, use an image, whether it's mine, somebody else's, a Google image, like in this case, this is a Google image, we always enhance it, uh, you know, to bring out details and color. But as you can see, The detail, the color is fantastic on this wood. Came out really, really nice. The flowers are accentuated very, very nicely. You can see the grain uh, in the uh, uh, wooden walkway here or the pier, whatever it's called. Now, because of the mirror, I mean, I can hang this up the way it is now, but I picked an image that had the flowers, let's say on the right hand side because when I go to put the mirror on, and give me a second. There it is. A beautiful piece of wood that can be used uh, to hang up on the wall, either horizontally or vertically. These will be on our website and I'll provide the link below. But uh, a very, very nice product. I'm very happy it's made in the United States. So, um, being 18 inches by 8 inches wide, uh, fully assembled with the mirror, it does weigh 3 pounds. 
So it's an oversized package. So, um, but it's, it's a nice piece of um, artwork when it's done. Okay, so see you guys soon and I hope you like this video.